It was a typical village uh, where there were about uh, 10 to 15 houses in that village because they were actually expecting us to go that day. So they were uh, very much excited to see us. Uh, we didn't waste much time. They uh, found a chimp in a uh, broken, broken drum. Has a cut here. I think we got chopped some time ago. Mm -hmm. Not actually yesterday. It was yesterday who we just got it. Mm -hmm. Very big here. in a lot of pain and we could tell because he was constantly licking his hand and the hand was very swollen it was a lot of pus coming out of the hand he was not moving that much he was not eating at all uh, so we assume for his reaction and his behavior that he was in pain and he was very scared and very afraid So the most impressive thing eh, of the arrival of, of, of Pizarro was his uh, uh, his hand, of course, uh, because well uh, we could see the the high level of, of damage that uh, he had in his in his arm. But in that moment, you know, like our first concern and what we do with all the chips is to assess another vital problems like dehydration that can kill him like very fast. He was dealing with this with his hand problem for a few days. It was a priority, of course, but it not was an, uh, an emergency that we need to address immediately. So what we did is to give him some fluids. He was rejecting to take it. We left some fruits, some uh, uh, watermelon, cucumber, like very juicy fruits, so to encourage him to drink because well, we couldn't put him under anesthesia if his body is totally unbalanced and his, his levels of of fluids are, are not good because the anesthesia ca could kill him. So we wanted to recover him a little bit, get a little bit more familiar with the new environment, get him to rest. He was very tired too, he was very afraid. So 
the, we, that night they arrived around 11 p.m. So our first thing to do it was trying to encourage him to drink and then let him rest. The next day our first, first priority was to check on his, on his hands. Pizarro will be more, two more months uh, in the quarantine section where he will undergo all the, the exams and, and continue with the quarantine protocol. After that, we are aiming to integrate him in a group of 18 baby chimps in the nursery group. Uh, and we hope that after a couple of years, when he's like big enough to, to defend himself, uh, we will assess his personality and the rest of the adult uh, groups to make sure he is integrated in the, in the best group for him.